So today let's take a look at PC Linux OS the GNOME version. But first off, let's have a look at hardware requirements. Now, of course, we need the Intel and the AMD processor. Uh, memory and storage, we need uh, uh, 512 uh, megabyte of RAM minimum and 1 gigabyte recommended. Um, video card ATI and NVIDIA, I'm pretty excited to see the, if the ATI works. 3D desktop support requires a 3D instruction set compatible card, sound card, any sound blaster and other. Of course we need a CD DVD drive that's required. So um, I'm using AMD processor and um, that should work. And so yeah. So uh, here we are booted into the PC Linux OS GNOME version. 2010 so uh, this is the latest version and this distro has a lot of applications um, so first of all let's have a look at the applications now we have more applications in that we've got a bluetooth manager we got compass config installed by default we got the compass fusion icon and Emerald Theme Manager. Let's see, we got NTFS Configuration Tool, Restore MBR, got GNOME PPP, and Get Open Office. That means that Open Office isn't installed by default. So, yeah, got the GNOME System Monitor. In printing, we got Lexmark, Lexmark, Lexmark. We actually got three terminals. We got the GNOME Terminal the root terminal and the xterm terminal so with that's cool uh, let's say we've got uh, Brassero, disk burner and CD DVD creator um, let's see we got get it text editor and we got bleach bit and bleach bit root we've got some games arcade boards um, cards puzzles and in toys we got screenlets and screenlets demon in other we've got the uh, same gnome and tali okay graphics we got gimp yay gimp i love gimp <laughs> yeah um we've got uh, gnome f uh, g, g thumb uh, image viewer we got take screenshot like in ubuntu Got Dropbox and Firefox. Um, got Pigeon and Skype is installed by default, which is very good. I love Skype. Got transmission BitTorrent client. In Office we got Appy Word and Alarm Clock. And again we got Get Open Office. In Software Center we got a repository speed test. And we've got Synaptic Package Manager. Very good. So in sound we've got Audacity installed by default, which is very good also. Got Flola. I don't know what Flola is. Let's have a look. Okay, I guess it has something to do with the uh, oh iPod not connected. iPod not connected, so Basically, it's something with your iPod. So yeah, iPod not found. Please make sure. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Close that down. Got the volume control here. Very nice. We got a terminal icon. And guest localhost. Some places we got the home folder and desktop and documents and all, all that good stuff. Oh my God, floppy drive. Huh. Okay, in system preferences, got appearance which we will take a look at. Okay, it looks like we've got a few themes 
we've got this clear looks glossy um, G milk we've got uh, mist and slickness is the one we're using and we got sin vision background we are waiting and waiting and waiting backgrounds we got almost the same um, the same amount of uh, backgrounds as in Ubuntu close that go back to system and preferences got basically the same as in the applications list emerald theme manager got startup applications and sound and screen lets <coughs> screen saver so let's have a look at sound actually want to see how that looks let's see yeah it's pretty much uh, like um, in Ubuntu it's because it uh, pulls audio in administration we've got bleach bit compass fusion icon HP device manager and get open office once again <laughs> um, let's see PC Linux OS tweak so that is, um, I think it's like a Ubuntu tweak just for PC Linux OS, um, of course automatically save open applications when logging out that's cool show splash screen got desktop, I don't wanna I don't wanna have the computer in the home folder and the trash icon, I hate that so we'll take that away wait a moment so yeah it's like a Ubuntu tweak uh, almost so yeah let's quit that mm. so uh, this is a very nice distro uh, I highly recommend it um, it's almost like a Ubuntu but a little more uh, lightweight I think I'm not sure but uh, I guess it's more lightweight Wait, it's GNOME, so it's good. <laughs> um, yeah, got the install live CD, change background, and we get back to appearance. So that's good. And I keep saying just like in Ubuntu, because it's GNOME, so yeah. So let's see. Actually, I think I forgot to show you something try to double click on the install live CD type guest actually I don't know if that's the password no it's incorrect password I'll try again guest no okay let's cancel that anyway and let's go back to application because I think there was something I forgot to show you Oh yeah, I forgot to show you video, I think, yeah video, and of course we've got cheese installed by default, so that's very cool, I love cheese, but I'm yet not uh, using it in my videos, <laughs> unfortunately, um, and we've got GTK record my desktop and T-Mobile converter mobile me media converter okay that's that's what it called uh, GCK record my desktop installed by default so that's very good and me TV so yeah thanks for watching bye